So I want to talk about last night's uh, action on HBO at uh, Super Featherweight 130, 130 pound division, and who might be in that in that weight class the best challenge uh, for Vasily Lomachenko. As always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. In the first of the two fights at 130, Jizra um, Corrales of Panama uh, won a majority technical decision over Robertson Castanelos of Mexico uh, to retain the WBA version of the 130 pound championship. It was a good fight through and through, uh, competitive, uh, deserving of a, a close decision. Uh, Castanelos, uh, of course, previously in his last fight, upset Yuri Ogres Gamboa. Um, <clears throat> doesn't have the best record on paper, but is a, good, is a really good boxer. Um, Corrales, of course, a little awkward. Um, <clears throat> I actually missed the knock, uh, the, the uh, Corrales knockdown. I take care of something and I had to sit away from my TV at the time. Um, but both guys were knocked down. Um, actually, Corrales knocked down twice. In the second or third round, um, good fight. Uh, Corrales is very awkward, a good athlete with some skills but some limitations. And that's my take on Corrales. In the second fight, in the main event of the uh, entire card, uh, Miguel Burchelt of Mexico defended his WBC 130 pound super featherweight championship uh, with a 12 round unanimous decision over. Uh, Japan's Takashi Mira. Burchelt uh, dropped Mira in the first round and pretty much outboxed, outpunched, used his length uh, to hit and not get hit um, through most of the fight. Mira did uh, land some good punches, used a good body attack to hurt Burchelt at times. Um, I honestly thought uh, Mira may have won the 8th and 9th rounds, but other than that, it was a clear-cut victory for Burchelt. Um, also very impressed with the 10th, 11th, 12th rounds because in the 8th and 9th rounds, it looked like uh, Mira may have been taking the fight over and may have been hurting Burchelt, but Burchelt weathered a storm, and even when he was hurt, he was still, still fighting back and winning rounds. Um, so it was a very impressive win for uh, Miguel Burchelt uh, against a really good boxer in Takashi Mira. So what do I think uh, Digital Corrales and Miguel Burchelt bring into fights against Vasily Lomachenko? So first of all, let me say my opinion. I don't see anyone uh, from 130 pounds and lower, including Guillermo Rigondeaux, who is a great boxer, beating Vasily Lomachenko. And I think he can do well at 135 as well, too, but I think the path, the path to him is tougher there for him. So, my take on, again, my take on either Jizra uh, Corrales or Miguel Bichelle take on Vasily Lomachenko. Um, let's start with Corrales, because I think uh, Bichelle has a better chance at Lomachenko than uh, Corrales does. Um, Corrales is awkward, and that's going to carry him against anyone for a certain, a certain amount of time. It's going to cause problems, but I personally think that it won't be long before Lomachenko figures him out, outboxes him, lands, some, lands something big, drops him, and stops him in the, in the mid-rounds of the fight. That's my take. Nothing against Corrales. He's a good boxer, but I think he, he's, more of a good, actually, he's more of a good athlete, and he has limits. And it's no shame losing, losing to Vasily Lomachenko. So throughout the fight last night, uh, the uh, Miguel Burchell and Takashi Mira fight, I couldn't help but think of, of what Floyd Mayweather said in criticism of Gennady Golovkin. There are no special effects. And with Miguel Burchell, there are no special effects. However, like Golovkin, he has really good, really good fundamentals. He hits hard, and he can take a punch, and it doesn't phase him. And that's going to make him 
dangerous and competitive against any anyone he can be put in against. Um, I still think Lomachenko wins, but that's probably even more so than Javante Davis, the best matchup at 130 pounds. In in my opinion, um, I, like I said, Lomachenko still wins. Still wins clearly. Like no one's at his level at at that weight. But I think Rochelle makes it the best matchup at at 130 for Lomachenko. So, what do you think? What was your take on on the fights last night? Who do you think would provide uh, Lomachenko the toughest uh, competition at 130? Um, please let me know in the comments down below. As always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. I thank you very much for watching. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you next video.